extremely dangerous situation that's unfolding for the Windward Islands. It's going to uh, play out overnight tonight and early Monday morning with the extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane barrel moving quickly towards the Windward Islands, moving west-northwest at 18 miles per hour with maximum sustained winds of around 130 miles per hour. From the moment we heard about the, the hurricane, etc., we, we, we start putting the boats on land, which is very good. And I mean, a lot of fishermen cooperated in doing this. You know, a good group of we get together, start pulling the boat manually. All of the reports uh, throughout Grenada so far overnight indicate that we've had varying degrees of rainfall and varying degrees of wind, but there has not been any reports of any major damage as a result of the weather. And so we are grateful and thankful for that. Uh, so far, it means our prayers have been answered, but the next eight hours are absolutely critical. The state of emergency remains in place. It is for your own safety. Teams are deployed. Those will consist of the police, the BDF, um, roving response. They will be deployed to literally drive the length of the major arteries in Barbados to check for debris, check for fallen trees, check for fallen poles, um, to ensure that it's safe for people to come out and use the road.
extremely dangerous situation that's unfolding for the Windward Islands. It's going to uh, play out overnight tonight and early Monday morning with the extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane barrel moving quickly towards the Windward Islands, moving west-northwest at 18 miles per hour with maximum sustained winds of around 130 miles per hour. From the moment we heard about the, the hurricane, etc., we, we, we start putting the boats on land, which is very good. And I mean, a lot of fishermen cooperated in doing this. You know, a good group of we get together, start pulling the boat manually. 